Hi everyone, so how are you doing today? I am here to film a haul. This is like my third haul this year, I think, that I've filmed. Which is terrible of me. Not that I haven't gotten any new products this year whatsoever, but I just became so used to not filming hauls because, you know, I stopped making like $200 a day a long time ago. Um, but, uh, that's okay. Um, but anyways, I used to have bigger hauls because of that, and I used to work every day, and I used to work 15 hours a day because I my work cost me no life. Not that I couldn't go out and get one, but I, I literally had to cancel my life for my job. That's why I don't work there anymore. I recently have been being good about collecting my makeup rather than throwing a new piece here and there into a video. I've been really good about collecting it so I can film a haul video for you guys because you guys like ha haul videos, I think. So, um, first off, I went to the Inglot store and this beautiful uh, blue bag that I got here that I showed you on Instagram. Brand new foundation because they had it in stock. It's so hard to find this. I have a love-hate relationship with this foundation because it always sells out. Other than that, I do love it. I did find it a little melty though this really hot summer, but I uh, remedied that situation with a little bit of Inglot Face Primer on occasion. I did not wear the Inglot Face Primer every day because I've typically had issues with silicone and there's a silicone based. If you do love silicone, go ahead and check it out. It comes in a tube that looks similar to this. But anyways, this is number 44. Um, I was mixing 45 and 43 together. I don't wear 43 on its own because it makes them look very taupey. And then I don't wear 45 on its own because it's a little harsh. And don't worry guys, I'm not going to get up to number 45 again. At least not on purpose, I won't go up to number 45 again. So don't worry about that. I know guys, not Dorito Rate, just Sunkiss. These are the Inglot AMC Lip Liners. Pretty much the only product I've ever seen Inglot have any color on their package. I think these are new. Inglot is discontinuing a lot of things. And the problem with that is... No. I'll live. Inglot Lip Pencil. Um, if you like the NARS Matte Velvet Lip Pencils, I think you'll really like these. Um, but if you have issues like I do, I have issues with the NARS Matte Lip Pencils. The price you pay for them versus the staying power makes that product not completely worthy of its price tag, personal opinion. I believe this product's a lot more inexpensive and a lot more matte, so I think that you're getting a better bargain. The more matte it is equals better staying power. It's generally the case when it comes to the benefits of a matte product. So I got number 12, which is this gorgeous peach, and it's self-sharpening. Look at that gorgeous like coral. This reminds me of MAC Cream Stick Liner in Summer Fruit because when I found out about these, I was over the moon. And this is number 31. I, I had bought a really cute NARS Pink and Dragon Girl back before I went cruelty free. Um, I actually used to think NARS was cruelty free. I think they were at one point. They sold, they sold out to Shiseido. But um, 31, oh my god. This reminds me of... Uh, you're gonna hate it when I say this. Have you ever seen Mr. Limpet? Do you remember like the fish that was his girlfriend? This is her, this is the color of that fish. Look at that, it's a pretty purple pink or like an orchid soft baby pink. This was on the girl in the store. She basically had like snow white skin and ice white hair and she had this on and she was freaking editorial gorgeous. It won't look the same on me, but anyways. Anyways, I picked up the Inglot um, Long and Curly Mascara again. I couldn't help myself. I'm almost running out of the one I have, and every time I see pictures uh, that I frames I take of my eyelash, it, they're like so long, the longest they've been in years. So I had to have another one. Here that is. This is one of their brand new ones. And um, this is number 68. Look at that. So number 68. Get that. Anyways. I also picked up another one of these really cool AMC Pure Pigment Eyeshadows. And this color is amazing. This is number 50. Can you see that? It's like kind of like a natural watermelon cantaloupe shake. It's so cool. I also picked up Inglot Lipstick Rouge. But it's actually part of their slim, slim or sleek line, something like that. The, this is basically a dupe of MAC Slim Shines. Do you remember those? Ugh. 
Anyways, this is a dupe of Max Bear Slim Shine. Yeah, that was the name of it. This is a dupe of Max Bear Slim Shine. And this, again, is number 48. Ugh, I'm so excited about this. I picked up Inglot Body Sparkles. Uh, I haven't played with any of it. I've been good. 68. Wait till you see this gold color on crack. This reminds me of like a fireworks or some kind of a light show. Can you believe that? <laughs> so cool. More Inglot. Alright. I hope you're not getting tired of the Inglot products. But this gorgeous palette. Let me show you. Here is the palette. Yes, I bought an entire 10 pan because I plan on filling up the other side. And I was so excited about them. This is 118R. I don't know if some of these colors are new, but I haven't seen some before. So 118R, and this is way different from my usual 111R, which is more of a light peach. This has a ton more pink in it. And this color right here, AMC Shine number 10. So gorgeous. And this is a matte. And this reminds me of my, something I have, but I have it in a shimmery finish. This is 366. This is like a watermelon coral. So pretty. And this, if you like rusty red colors, you have, you don't have the perfect rust red yet. This is number 607. This is like a gorgeous, the gorgeous cranberryest thing I've ever owned. This, ugh. Oh. Oh my god, it's so gorgeous. Color down here at the bottom is 104R. You've probably seen this before. Somebody has it, I know. And this is just a really pretty rainbow aqua. And that's them all blended together just so you can get the general idea of the tone. And then I picked up the Tarte. Um, this is one of their um, airbrush maracuja blushes. This is in the shade Shimmering Peach. I was deciding pretty hard between this and the Poppy, and um, this is so pretty. This actually, to the touch, it's kind of like a light souffle. I could see why it's called airbrush blush. It like, feels like you're touching like souffle. I don't, you're not going to see it spring back or anything like that, but it does leave an impression. Because um, look at that. It looks like the NARS Multiple in Orgasm. And, or it kind of more or less reminds me of a cream version of Too Faced's Who's Your Poppy. So I went to Sally's Beauty Supply and I picked up Orly Effects Nail Lacquer. This is their new packaging and their award-winning rubber grip cap. Spa Ritual is the parent company of this, so they are all vegan. And this is Pink Pixel. Polishes from the Mineral Fusion line. And this is Galaxy. And this is Marble, which is a cream white. I'm going to get a manicure later today, a pet manicure, pedicure. I'm going to use Glint of Mint from Mineral Fusion that I showed in my last haul. This will probably be my next pedicure after that. And let's see. That was my, some of my, that's Ulta. Ulta, Sally's, and Whole Foods. And this is Mother's Market and Sephora. Okay. I've been collecting it for a long time. Reviva Labs Eye Jelly Concentrate. It helps reduce puffiness. Um, it cures dryness and lines under eyes. Has a cucumber scent. I'm so excited about this. Um, and I have just wanted to try yet a different eye jelly. I think I can get my eyelids to be a little bit more smoother. I think the eye jellies are really nice because they don't create any buildup on your skin and they're just kind of easier to blend out. Less is more, a little goes a long ways. And this is only $11. So Revival Labs is actually um, the leader in cruelty-free anti-aging skincare and preventative aging skincare. So I'm really excited about that. I'm so excited about this product. Another reason I wanted to open up, crack this haul open was because of this. This is the Josie Moran Coconut Water color cheek jelly in the shade poppy paradise and I do love poppy uh, red orange coral blushes peach whatever so um peach is my color I love it I don't like pinks on me because I think they wash me out horribly and it looks really kind of crazy in the pot the way you apply gel blushes is uh, very similar to the way you apply cream blushes looks crazy. I've heard 
mixed reviews on this. And I love Josie Moran personally. And all the products I like from her that I have tried have also had mixed reviews. People are looking for certain levels of pigmentation and have not scored that. But it's just a really faint, really pretty natural hue of color. And I thought this would look really pretty with a dramatic eye or a really soft, sweet, easy day look. I have these really cool lipsticks that are like half gel and half lipstick. I have to have one of those. But uh, yeah, has no scent. Put the lid on tight because this is coconut water based. I love coconut water. It hydrates you so well. I'm a fan of coconut water. Okay, so I went to Zazibas. I think that's the name of it. And it is literally a discount clothing store. And uh, it had like everything is so inexpensive. A lot of times, though, you have—I mean, you have to go in there a lot to see the good stuff. Because a lot of times, like sizes run out fast because everyone's in there for a deal. So you have to go in there quite a few times if you want, if, you know, if you want to see something good. But anyways, I picked up number 82. These are cherry blossom lashes. So I saved a great deal on these lashes. The clothing, I didn't go at a good time. There was no clothing in my size. But I got number one. I saved a really good, I mean, these are only like a dollar on cherry, col or on not cherry culture. These are only a dollar like on Madame Madeline, but I got them for a dollar, obviously, without paying the shipping. So I got a couple of the 82s and a, and a pair of the ones pair of sunglasses. These are nothing, no brand. So just something for fun. I also recently got these, but these were given to me. These are Betsy Johnson's. So that concludes my haul. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching as usual. I know it's a lot of stuff. But I have been saving, collecting, and collecting, and saving, and it's, I didn't realize how many products I have been collecting over this seriously long amount of time. I also got some discounts on the Inglot products because I have a pro card. I'm not the crazy ha uh, hoarding Inglot lady. I do use all my products. If you've been watching me for a while, you know I tutorialize so much of all my makeup. So, you know I use it. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys later, and bye.